I was invited to present at a public speaking workshop the other day by the great Rick Rushton. Uh, if you don't know Rick Rushton, I mean, God, um, you have to check him out. He is amazing. Um, but I was so grateful to be on there and meet some amazing people. And, you know, it's not just about being able to get your words out to people. It's, it's much more than that. And my part in the workshop was to deliver how to remember your talk, right? And we just use the number rhyme system, um, put our key points in and so on, right? Um, if you don't know about public speaking and how that works, watch my video below because I, I explain how to remember your talk using that. Um, but the, the key takeaways were massive. Um, firstly, it's not about you, right? If you're a public speaker, it's not about you, right? It's your message impacting people. So think about the people that you're trying to impact. Right? If you focus on your message impacting people, guess what's going to happen? You're going to change your message. You're going to craft it in a way that has an impact. Right? Another thing as well is that when you are delivering, you're talking to yourself, right? At times then you're going, oh, you know, am I going to be good enough? Or, you know, I don't know if I should be doing this. You don't need that kind of talk, right? You don't need that kind of talk. Just park yourself, you know, backstage and let the message do the talking. Because the message, like I said, is king. So get out there. My message the other day was this skill, this memory skill is learnable. It's a skill, right? So learn it and then practice it because that's how you're going to get really good. Learn and practice it. Um, because, yeah, learning might be, oh, wow, I learned an amazing skill and you never use it. Well, what's what's the uh, benefit of that so learn it practice it get the feedback from that practice right and the feedback might be i'm no good at it <laughs> or it might be that oh yeah this works uh, whatever the feedback is right depending on your mindset then it's adjusting whatever that is so if you say i'm no good at it then you can say well how can i get better at it <laughs> what else do i need to do if you say i am good at it and it works so okay try it again with other bits of content and so on Right, so reframing, redoing everything, and then going back and practicing again. Right, so the more you practice, the better, better you get at public speaking. Um, but one thing I did mention as well, which was, um, I, I think it would have been a good point, and for those watching, um, I think, uh, you know, you can jot this down as well, is if you want to improve your public speaking, I'm not saying I'm the greatest public speaker, by the way. Um, I do everything off the cuff. I mean, I'd love to create some sort of a YouTube script and, you know, just read off a teleprompter. But I do enjoy uh, the process of creativity and try and get out my thoughts in the most clear way. Now, I'm always working on it. But if you watch my first few videos to now, I think there's been a little bit of an improvement, <laughs> right? And I'm still trying to improve. So what I'm trying to get at is if you want to improve your speaking, jump on to either youtube or something like that look to be honest you don't even have to video record yourself uh, on youtube you can just do it on your phone these days if you've got a smartphone which most people do so just set it up i've got mine set up in front of me on the table right on some sort of a stand magnetic stand and i'm just recording right in fact that's how i started my youtube channel right uh, a good friend of mine uh, Jonathan Creek, uh, who's uh, an amazing person, author, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, try, I'll try and put his link down below as well, so check him out. He said to me, look, because uh, I was really afraid to get on and speak in front of the camera, right? Um, I, I would look at other people down the street walking with their camera, like, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't even do that in private, right? But he told me, he said, look, just record yourself, just say something. You know, you're an expert, just say something that comes to your mind. So that's what I did one day. I said, okay, I'm just going to get my phone out um, and I'm going to record something just for one minute, right? Well, that one minute turned into 10 minutes and I could not believe that I spoke about that one topic for that long. Why? Because I was interested in it, right? <laughs> Tell me, yeah, you can't talk about something that you're interested in for that long. It's easy. So that's how my YouTube channel started. I just started talking about things that I enjoy, 
yeah, I mean, I was always a trainer, so I looked into training methods and stuff, but it was still a bit weird for me, right, um, on this format. But what happens is that just by the sheer practice of doing these things, you get better at presenting to the camera. You, you lose that uh, ability, not the ability, but you lose, um, what am I trying to say? You don't get afraid anymore by practicing more and more of speaking. So when you do get out on stage, yeah, it's easy because you've spoken in front of the camera a couple of hundred times. You know, I've got over 270 videos now on YouTube and I'm still learning how to present and be a better presenter, right? I think I've improved a bit, um, but it, the improvement really comes if you note down and try to improve every single time. I know I haven't done that, to be honest, um, because I probably laid more emphasis on the content rather than my own improvement. So I know I should be doing that, but um, it, it is a video just for me as well. So not just for you, it's for me to try and improve every single time and get better. So if you want to improve your public speaking, speak on camera, right? If you're game, jump on YouTube. Could be any topic you're interested in. Doesn't matter, people don't care, right? As long as you do it, that's for your own growth. Uh, don't don't read the comments. <laughs> uh, just go and do your thing, right? You'll get really good eventually, but you have to stick with the consistency, like like anything, right? Um, if you do it consistently, you're going to get better. Right? So that's how you're going to improve your speaking. Um, also, you can try and memorize it. You can use memory techniques. Um, I don't use any of that because I try and let it come from the heart, right? I do sometimes have bullet points uh, in my talks, but the thing is I... Don't usually look at them <laughs> because I'm delivering straight to the camera, uh, which is weird, right? But again, it depends on what you're talking about. My, my style is they're all off the cuff. Right? It's all off the cuff because I know what the main message is. And my goal is to deliver that main message. So hopefully you've taken uh, the importance of this message of public speaking. It's about the people. And if you want to develop yourself, record yourself because we've got devices now that do that if you want put it online it doesn't even have to be youtube it could be you know shorts or just something for a minute even 20 seconds just say a message and try and get good at delivering that message uh, don't try and be someone else just be you because that's what people want to see people want to see you so don't try and be you know one of the best speakers or orators in the world uh, they're not you right you be you deliver your message and that's all you can do the rest people will decide what to do with that information so once you let go of the information it's theirs not yours right think about that i'll leave you to it um got any comments <clears throat> if you got any comments comment down below um any questions feel free to shoot away subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video cheers